Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to my very first attempt at a full playthrough. That is to say, a full run to conquer the entire map with our glorious empire. So let's just get straight into it. Probably going to be recording this for the next few days, because these things can take a while. And we are now going to design our empire. So to begin with, I am definitely going to go into hard difficulty, because I'm still learning the game quite a bit, so going with very hard and Imperial, I don't particularly want that. We're going to go with the mixed land, the default monsters, um, normal research, starting tech on tier one. Although, because we are on hard difficulty, the AI will have a tech lead. So we're going to have all the basic stuff in there. Well, if we're very unlucky, they may have missiles and flamethrowers and all that. Going to go with a large map to keep things interesting this time around. And let's design our empire. So last time we went with the worm eye, that means we get all the cult technologies. However, this time around I am considering something else. I do love explosions after all, and that is the lovely little stars. Plus 30% damage from explosives, that means our missiles will be really deadly, and there is actually a new type of missile I haven't yet tested out, which is a lot further on in tech, which I really want to use. I think it's the guided missile or something. It looks horrendously powerful. Although we could just go flamethrowers. I do love flamethrowers as well. There is so many things. Dragon riders, because who doesn't love having dragons on your side? We have accurate cannons. Now, I remember this actually being really good. I remember using this uh, one of the previous runs I did years ago, and it was just so, so nice. There are so many options. I mean, this one just lets you start off with explosives. That's it. You instantly get the explosive options. But I think I am going to go with the extra damage from explosives. I really want to see how some of the stuff works. Or we could go with tech. Oh, there are so many things I want. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the glorious star there for our extra explosive damage. Um, this looks really sinister having it like this, and I kind of love that. Looks a bit like Malice from Warhammer 40k. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's stick with that. Malice, Malal, one of the Chaos Gods. Because, believe it or not, I do like me chaos. Hey everyone, Future Lathrix here, as always with these full playthroughs, just saying that this video took around about three days to put together, and although it was an absolute joy, it can be very bad for the channel if it doesn't get enough likes and comments and everything, since long videos are always dangerous that way. So, likes and comments, very much appreciated. This was a real fun thing to play through, and I only have one thing to say before going in, and that is, I wish I noticed this, the rapid commands. This thing I should have had off, but it was on. This means that, sadly, our craft can basically have a movement every second, though so can the enemy craft, and you can kind of abuse that with your builds, but thankfully the dum-dum that is past Lathrix didn't even notice it was on, and so didn't really abuse it, but it really should have been off for this playthrough. This was just really fun to play through, and I'm really looking forward to doing others in the future, and any suggestions for the different types of bonuses are very welcome as well. The eye, the- ooh, that one's actually really creepy, the dragon riders, just so many different options. So with that, into the game itself. Back to past Lathrix, or current Lathrix view. Okay, apparently there's some uh, loading stuff now. Okay, here we are. We are Lathland. I was trying to think of a good name for this empire, but since we're going with explosives and everything else, and that's kinda just what I like, it is my empire. So then, what are we going to do? Now, I am also aware there is a big update heading towards the game soon, but I thought I'd do at least one full playthrough before that hits. It's all the, the diplomacy stuff. Oh yeah, we don't get um, the top text because we don't have the cult. Now where, where are our explosives? They're right there, so rockets straight away. And uh, so where is the really scary missiles then? Obviously we want rockets, um, torpedo bombers. Okay, that's something else to look at later. Rapid rocket fire, air grenaders, grenade aim and range. That's pretty cool. Double bomb accuracy, that's from the triplanes. But where is that really scary missile I kept on hearing about? People really recommended I check it out because, yep, my type of thing. And I can't see it. Maybe I am blind. Oh, there we are. Guided missiles. So for that, we're also going to need computers, turrets. Okay, so we'll stick with this for now. Then we'll see what else. I would love fire extinguishers. They are really useful. But for now, let's just go with that. And we're going to go with Empire of Science. That will cut most of my funding. But I really, really want to upgrade that as soon as possible. And let's see what ship we have to begin with. Ooh. Let's have a look at you. Okay, so three cannons. Lots of rifles. I actually really like this design. Yeah, that's a 
pretty nice design, actually. The Rectifier. 702. Definitely better than the Cultist one we got last time. Well, let's uh, design one of our own ships anyway, because, of course, and then, hopefully, we can attack someone nice and quickly. Kind of want to test out the, the Ballistas, honestly. So really what we should do is go for anything with explosive damage since we are doing bonus of that. That at the moment basically means aerial charges, grenades, and the bomb bay. I can't remember if I like grenades or not. I remember them having quite a weird firing arc, yeah, as you can see there. And the bomb of course just drops directly down, so they wouldn't actually sync up that well. Oh actually no, can the grenade... Go away. Uh, can fire backwards a little bit by the looks of things, so maybe we could sync them up. But I would like to specialise in one or the other. I think if we have the grenade, we're definitely going with the large propeller because we're going to have to be moving around quite a lot. In fact, even with the bomb bay, if we go after other ships, then we're going to need to move very quickly to um, shadow them. I just like blimps, okay? Blimps, bombs, grenade. It has pretty much everything. We have two sails, so it's decently quick. 100 um, kilometers per hour. Its service ceiling is 219. It's quite expensive, but I think it should get the job done. It is incredibly explosive, though. This thing will detonate gloriously if it's hit in the right place, and I am very happy with that. So, yeah, this is not any type of ship you want to be on. Full stop. But it's gonna be fun. Do they connect bombers off? That no, no, just leave that for now. Uh, so now I'm just going to add some decorations. I think I'm going to stick with the auto name. The Banshee is born. And we are now completely poor. So right now, it's not really worth attacking anyone. Uh, we're just going to sit here. We are siphoning off a lot of our money just to go for extreme science. This will be risky in the long run. Whoa, okay, lots of things happening here. And looks like we're going to have to have one fight and then another. Ooh, you look really cool. Look at that. Oh, an awesome design. I don't think we win this. Tempted to flee and come back, but... Okay, so... Are these just regular cannons? I think they are. Oh, no, grape shot. Okay, in that case, we need to get as far away as possible from them. Full reverse. Uh, it's faster than us by a long shot. We don't really get the choice here. If I flee now, I think I get to keep my ship, so I'm going to do that. So move back to Lathland. Uh, we have the Banshee now, which I think would have a much better odds. Um, it can go above that target. So I'm tempted to send it by itself. Honestly. So yeah, just let the Banshee send it by itself. I think this would work. So I'm just going to take one of their pieces of land instead. Currently they're fortifying what they just stole from us. Let's get a bit closer. We're not really hitting there. There's a little grenade. Lots of explodies. Just stick with aimed fire. This will be over soon enough, soon as one thing goes critical. Really? Wow, I knew it would detonate, but I didn't think it would be that easy against such light arm fire. Well, still won. Gentle takeover. Uh, pillage. I honestly do kind of need the money, but I think I'll just go with gentle takeover. You get back to repair. So at least now we are taking a little bit more income. I had to slow down research. Don't know why, but they attacked our home territory. Our fortress is more than strong enough to deal with it. It's already lost the power of flight and lost some of its guns. So at least that ship's dealt with. Okay, it's currently foggy. Time to get some revenge. It's going to be super hard to hit this thing. 
Uh, would you mind just staying where you are right now? That would be great. Just hit it with one grenade. Please learn to pause more when doing this. Come on. Yes. One direct hit. I am starting to regret building a blimp again. Every time I build them, I end up uh, kind of regretting it, but still. It's like how they look. Ooh, completely removed the arm on the back section there. If you get another hit there, that, yep, the whole section just went. Yeah, stick with normal for now. Glorious revenge. I can't wait to get missiles. That's when we're going to be really strong. I love the bombs, but they're so difficult to use, and I'm not very good at multitasking my units. Oh, that is phenomenal. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see them, but they are kind of dead. Ooh, a mad scientist is raided somewhere over here. So, currently, it seems like a few forces are becoming dominant already. And hopefully we're going to be one of them. I've now slowed down research a little bit, so we're actually getting money back. But we do have rockets, so we're going to grab those soon. Yeah, this will be nice and easy. Everything got detonated at once. Everything's triggered. Okay, we are definitely losing this then. Yep, no defenses. That just burns it before getting there. I need to repair, so I can't really move anything over anyway. So, I need to design a ship. The little frenzy. It is barely functional. And that's it. It's 400, uh, it's 400 cost. It has one external huge rocket, which can only be used once for, per fight, and it has two rockets, and that's it. It's slow, it's cumbersome, and it's super cheap, and we're going to have loads of them. This is the ship people train on before being moved into something else. I think I'm just going to go with everything being explosive, because that's the fun of this game. Look at this defense tower it built! Oh, for Pete's sake, it's rockets! Oh my god, that is awesome looking! And horrifying in equal measure! Ah, oh, the light's against us as well, this is a terrible fight. Where's that Banshee? Should have had Banshee with us. Blast. Pause. You two, straight into aim fire, please. Both go after that one. And... Oh, my lord. Inaccurates! Go! Okay. Feel free to use the big boys. I know I'm going with the light weakness here, but I just need to back off. Oh! Oh my god, how many bombs do you have? Down! Okay, so, what I need to start doing is flip first. That's G for that. Come on. You know what you're going to do? You're going to ram. Ramming speed that way. Just hit the bloody thing. Oh, how did that not detonate? How are we not hitting? Okay, I expect that to do- Yes! Goodbye to you! Keep moving every time I can. I was hoping that would be out of its... ability to fire. Okay, get past it. Oh no! Yeah, you're gone. Yes, yes, yes! Fire! Glorious fire! Be purged, etc. I like these little things! They're horrible! <laughs> oh no! That's gonna land on me! I have no way around this. Can you 
Nope, you can't actually fly right now. Please enemy to surrender. Oh, thank you. Wow, that was a nightmare. Where to where? Oh, mad scientist. Uh, I don't think it can do much other than just damage what's there, and I don't think we're really able to uh, protect against it right now. What we do need is to start building some proper defenses. I I am fully aware of this. This is their shipyard? Okay, yeah, this one enemy has just been really, really battered down. Honestly, we could just win with the Banshee on its own, so I'm not too worried here. All of you just go on aim fire and just move up. I said all of you. Huh, why is it not moving the way I thought it would? Okay, I'm gonna just move you instead. I think the other two are on, on lie. Oh, yeah, because I just gave them the aimed fire command. Which, yeah, that, uh, that light's a problem. There we go. So this gives us a shipyard. So gentle will take a while, which is a shame, so I'd like to have another one activated now, but uh, it'll give us the most money at the end. That's a lot of income, so I can go back to Empire of Science. Then I think I'm going to make a couple more of the frenzies so we can start just constantly attacking things. Then I'm going to work on building a much larger craft. Those big rockets are very satisfying. Sadly, I have to be really in line to actually use it. Explosives everywhere. Okay. There's no way we can move there fast enough, even with the frenzies, which are very quick. That appears to be floating. Going to try and get some revenge here. This is the fellow which just uh, took this place, and again, looks amazing. I really need to practice just making ships after this playthrough. Turns out uh, it wasn't just floating, it was actually underground, but um, yeah, defeated in what, five seconds. I also think I may have a setting on which is a, which is allowing me to do orders a bit too fast. Wait, no target? How is there no target? Reduces the accuracy of all weapons, yeah, but yeah, you can very clearly see it. Yeah, because I'm instantly um, being able to then do another command. Um, the same is happening for the enemies as well, so I think I might turn that off. Because honestly, I just don't like it. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Didn't do as much as I'd hoped, but wow. Yeah, knocked off a lot of armor at least. <laughs> oh, I love those! The external one-use ones that are so good. They're cheap, but they do the same damage as the regular huge ones. And they also don't need crew. <laughs> oh, that made me happy. Ah, it's like a proper little siege, destroying a little town and all the little people. 
Don't worry, the fight's dragging on, but it'll be over soon. Just like your life, it'll be over before you know it. <laughs> I love missiles! I'm a simple person, you know, I see shiny explosives, I'm happy. Last one for NZ, but we gain that. I'm actually going to do a brutal takeover this time. Oh, it's 88 income. That Yeah, I'm going to do a brutal takeover. I want it like now. Uh, then I want you to go over there, because I feel like that one's... Yep, yeah, I knew that one was going to attack. Can't intercept, can I? There's no chance. They're fast enough. Okay, get there. You need to reload. Okay, we have flamethrowers now. Wait, wait, where are you going? Yeah, you are going to there. Ooh, that looks like it will detonate. That's not even functioning. Any weapons? Okay. Yeah, you don't want to start off point blank range with these things. They have a nasty first bite. Sure, I didn't get a chance to reload. But what we have is beautiful. Okay, after this fight, I'm going to check the setting then to um, stop these constant movements. It will make these weaker, by the way, but I feel like it's a bit cheaty right now. Okay, so I may have mentioned this now at the start of the video with um, editing Lathrix, but it turns out that the rapid commands thing is actually a setting when you start the game. I would have to restart to remove it, so I'm going to continue with it on. Um, but bear in mind, I do not like the setting. Uh, it does benefit the enemies just as much as it benefits me. Well, not really, though, because I can now build with that in mind. Uh, so, essentially, how the game works is that for each of your vehicles, you have some control. Ta-da! You have a bridge, so let's put our quarters in the bridge. There we are. So, with this setup, currently, we can do a command every two seconds. Uh, the more bridges you have and such with, uh, with your vehicle, the faster it gets. I had the bare minimum, which is this tiny little one on my craft, which means my commands are very slow, and that should have been a drawback, but it isn't. I will not purposefully exploit this, but I needed to mention it's a thing. Just come back, because it says plus 30% damage from explosives. I thought it was blast damage, but no, it specifically says explosives, because flamethrowers do blast damage, similar to rockets and everything else. So I don't think that buffs them, but I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Could be very wrong. So this is the Doomed. It has the giant flamethrower. I don't even know if the blast damage does give us the bonus from explosives. I doubt it, but either way, we have the giant flamethrower, a regular flamethrower, and then the massive rocket external. And of course, we have a face because it just makes me happy inside. It is really stupidly built. This has so many weak points. But again, it will explode gloriously when it eventually does. So, as soon as, I, as soon as I can build this, I will. If this thing is allowed to do damage, it will crush things with the flamethrower. But it needs protection. We are attacking the cultists. Okay, so I want you all as close as possible to begin with. I want you all in the fog bank. You can stay where you are and start. Move as close as you can before we unleash your main weapon. Well, your secondary weapon, technically, but you get what I mean. So, you have a proper turret on top, which is pretty nasty, actually. And... do it! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Some fires on the inside. This thing is really well armoured. Well, I'll say that, the armor's actually been removed now, so what we're doing is destroying the innards. Pretty clean fight. A little bit of damage. Oh, that one's gonna die. Uh, that frenzy, please go away. You literally can't deal with fires, and if you detonate, you're gonna hurt everyone else. And that should be... That. Oh, come on, before you actually just surrender already! Let me keep one vehicle! Oh, nope, count as, dest as destroyed, which is fair. Okay. The leaders of the cult are summarily oh, executed, and their followers are sent for religious re-education. Their towers are raised to the ground, some of the cult's ritual objects turn out to be made of pure gold. 
Oh, it's money. So 4,000... Well, that was definitely worth it. Okay, you need to repair. So get back to there. Uh, you, I'm going to build some, some of the Flamers, and I'm also going to build more of the Frenzies, because I just love the Frenzies to bits. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I'm actually going to pillage you. We'll damage you in the long run, but... Uh, I want the money right now. So what I want to do is... Oh no, I was about to attack those. I was about to say I want to attack the spiders. Uh, yeah, the spiders or the aerial jelly. I can't remember that gives us either. Right now, you're there. And you're going to try and invade me if I move off. So what I'm going to do is reinforce. I made two more frenzies. I've made two of these flamers. Then, yeah, deal with you. Then attack some more of the creatures. Clockwork wasps. Oh. There's a lot of scary things out and about, ain't there? Well, that's terrifying. I kind of forgot how scary the aerial jelly looks. I'm going to move everything back. Just keep everything on aimed fire. And hope for the best. You, I mean, sure. I doubt you two are actually going to get any use today, but sure. Okay, all named. Good. Moves lower, I'll be able to hit it. Right now, I can't. You know what? It's close enough, just. Fire in ready. All those direct hits, and it is not going down. Things bleeding, though, so that's something. Oh! Ha! We are victorious! Just sheer damage. Sheer damage and no tactics. That's the same part in the nutshell. No treasures! I did that for nothing! Yeah, you're heading over here. I'm never going to be able to defend that in time. That is so infuriating. I thought that was... You know what? I'm going to attack some more shipyards. I'm going to lose one over here, but I'm going to keep on making friends in the background. Let's take more stuff. Pillage. We now have turrets. Some of these designs just look so amazing. I, I, don't, know how, I just don't know how to do it. Obviously need more practice. It's night time, so aim to fire, please. If you can get a chance to fire that, fire it. Both missed. Well, poop. They have two turrets on the bottom, but that's it by the looks of things. Okay, so move, flip. Flip first. Ooh, what are you doing? Show them the power of explosives, lads. So it seems like really what we should have been doing is trying to stay in the middle. Um, I didn't really realise that until like just now. Ooh, lovely. Set some fires. Oh yeah, I really should um, add a telescope to these things to make them more accurate. They currently have the crow's nest, which is plus 10%. Uh, the, the telescope is like plus 30. I just got the tech after I built this thing, but it wouldn't be expensive all to retrofit it. Oh, I think it's just broke. Okay. Oh no, no, it's still firing. It's still firing. Never mind. I thought it lost its ammo or something. Glorious revenge. This is their shipyard. Some of the shipyards are really badly defended. I mean, I can't really criticize too much considering I basically have no protection on my shipyard, but still. Just move there for now, and you can move here. 
I think we're going to just detonate the forest with that. And here come the two oversized missiles into the house. I feel a little bit mean. <laughs> You're about to just burn down a house. Hello, citizens. I'm here to liberate you. Yep. 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 I think I'm being hit by my own missiles. <laughs> Lovely. So these are the clockwork wasps. Oh no, I'm getting bad memories from this. Oh, look at that little thing in the background being in the background. It's a little rock. Anyway, uh, shiny rock. Yeah, I remember now. I thought it was more enemies which were just kind of uh, there, but it's more strike defensey, and I think they can board you. I don't remember exactly, but I'm just getting bad memories. Okay, make sure everything can fire its main weapon as soon as possible. You get as far forward as possible. You know what, actually? I want all of you to get right forward. This puts you right in the firing line, but if we're lucky, then glorious missiles will defeat the wasps. Okay, so straight away, you move there. All of you activate your secondary weapon, please. Our massive rocket is bouncing right off that wasp nest. You what, mate? I can hear waspy noises, but I can't see waspies. Oh, I see waspies. Oh, I see waspies. They are there. Does that mean we're not doing any damage with the big boomy things? They're wasps! I mean, yeah, they're mechanical wasps, but they're still just bloody wasps. Oh, lordy, Lulu, we're gonna lose everything, aren't we? Uh, get closer. More flamers put you even in more danger. Okay, so it looks like you can actually burn down the wasps, which is nice, but still. Yeah, we're being boarded by wasps. That is... Oh, horrible. Kill the thing. I love most animals, as people know. I'm an avid pet keeper and uh, even bred animals for all, but wasps will always freak me the hell out. Not a fear or anything, just I've been stung too many times in my life and I don't like being near them. Thus, explosives! I'm carrying a frenzy with me. Frenzy. Am I legitimately doing nothing? How are you meant to kill this? Yes, like that! Through sheer determination and explosives. Give me something. Oh, 6,000 is a big number. <laughs> uh, I'm very tired. Oh no, an enemy is attacking me. Who is being mean? Uh, I don't know. Who is being mean? I oh, mad scientist. Oh, I was not going to do about that. Right now, at least. Uh, so what do I do? I Right now, I am still going for... The bigger missiles. I do actually have access to turrets now. Now, turrets are pretty nice for some long-range fighting. All my stuff right now is kind of medium to close range. So having something with turrets would be pretty cool. Plus, honestly, they just look cool. Ooh, pretty. Piercing damage is 64. That's pretty nice, actually. It's going to take out a lot of stuff. Then there's the front turrets, which go like this. Oh, I mean, I do like those. I think I'd like them on a tank, though. I mean, I also don't have a vehicle which brings massive rockets, but I would like a turret boy, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. So let's figure out how I'm actually going to do this. It's probably going to be quite big. Uh, let's have 2,000 as our cost limit and maybe 30 maintenance, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Also, what I really should do is start basically sketching using the corridors, and I can get a basic shape idea. So obviously just going with the idea of how many cannons can I put on this thing without it going to extreme. So we have one bottom turret, we have the front turret, and the top turret, the dorsal. Though I am tempted to replace the dorsal, it just seems 
really powerful. It reloads faster and does more damage with technically a higher firing arc. Even has more health. Which is pretty good. Then we have just some regular cans at the front. Obviously, they need to add everything else. They still can't control this thing or anything, but that is the start of it. Actually, you know, that's not horrendous, and I'm not done yet, so... Oh, could be better, obviously. At this moment, I've just realised I have flamethrowers, I have explosives. I am yet to research any type of additional armour, or... And this is very good with the flamethrowers. I am yet to research fire extinguishers. <laughs> Okay, so, four regular cannons, one bottom turret, one top turret, we have the dorsal turret, of course, we have the glorious massive rocket external, we have a single musket on the back, because I just thought it'd look cool to have a single weapon there, and we are almost good to go, I think. Yeah, even have a repair bay for once, which is very rare for me. Now, you may be wondering, why am I still using the wooden armour? It's because I don't even have steel armour, I have steel wool. This has less health and less armor piercing protection. And so far, it's been mostly piercing weapons. Only a few times have we encountered explosives. So weirdly, for now, I think just the wooden armor is the way to go. I just want to be really silly and go full on canvas, but obviously that's not really the plan here. So let's just paint this thing, going with what we've been going on already. So let's do this. Whee! And then, our second arms colour, let's just fill all this in, then I'll add some decorations. Uh, we could flip that, I think maybe flipping it would be better. No, because that's kind of how all the other stuff's done, so sure, let's just stay like that for now. Yay! Well done, you have a star for an eye instead. Uh, I'd like a flag. Maybe there. Yeah, that'd look cool. Let's go with that. And I'd like more chimneys. I think it'd just look nicer. Oh, can I not put them there, really? Why no? I'll put them there, but I can't put them here. I don't even know why I can Oh, is it because of that decoration? That's not in the way, right? Oh, it was! Uh, I think I'd rather have more chimneys. Oh, I've made something so derpy. And so the Grand Derp came to be. So that's the mad scientist attack. Um, creepy tendril creatures. I can't actually do anything, so... I think they're, like, close range. Maybe we should attack the mad scientist. We've been attacked way too many times now. Where are they currently set up? Uh, maybe I should. I remember them being quite brutal, actually. And I am I am currently building a lot of stuff because of that money, so I should be able to defend while we send that out. I do need some repairs, but we have restocked. Probably should have just gone straight after them while they were trying to raid us, now I think about it. Oh, uh, eh, someone else killed the mad scientist first. That's why you should really go for them a bit sooner, as soon as you think you can risk it. That's annoying, because that means they haven't got a bonus, but they're quite a small empire and are being attacked by three sides. I say it's a small empire, we're not exactly huge. Okay, invade this one first, since you're basically there. Yeah, that's going to take moments. The big flamers don't attack very often, but when they do, it is pretty brutal, even against quite decent armour. Oh, victory! We probably just damaged stuff, uh, we just got. Well, I'm gonna just go here and they instantly gave up. Going for a bit more of a brutal approach right now. Currently, my income is looking terrible. They're gonna give up again. It's the same enemy, so you'd expect it to, but no, this one is braver. For the Empire! Oh, yep, yeah, they gave up, but never mind. Lovely, brutal takeovers. Oh, oh no, okay. Who's attacking me? You're gonna attack that. There is no way we can get there to defend in time. On the upside, the Grand Derp is ready. The thorn's being built. 
Okay, I'll build up another force and start going towards the north as well. I feel like we have kind of hit that point now where we are just crushing things. Uh, we could try and attack them, their fleet and that. I mean, if we win there, we'd just knock them out entirely, really. Oh, no, you've basically done the same tactic as me. Except for with large missiles. Oh, God, that's horrendous. Okay, so... I'm going to be really risky. You fire at you, you fire at you. In fact, no, what I should do is... Oh, don't really... You know what, never mind. Let's just go in this order. I was going to make it the opposite there. And I'm going to let you all fire your special weapon as soon as possible. Try and get there. You actually lost yours and won the fight. I don't know how, but you did. You two literally can't hit them until you move further forwards. Okay, all of you now do that. I see some terrible shots there. Okay, some flying is coming out to attack that. I mean, if you do get the chance to fire it, fire it. It's just going to be hard for you to do. Oh, God, the huge explosions everywhere. We do have the advantage that we are in the right direction. So what do you have? You have just two regular rockets, but you're a lot bigger. So, yeah, really you should focus on those guys. Ah, flying my boys are going down. I can guarantee it. Gonna lose a lot of our ships here. Honestly, I think you should just stay where you are. Oh, I actually may have reduced damage taken there a tiny bit. Burn it! Oh no. Oh, it missed! Uh, mostly missed. Flamey, 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 flamey. Oh, big boom! You're kind of stuck. You're actually hitting, which is good. You know what? Nope. Back. Back up. Original tactic. I just don't want to be underneath all this. Oh, I did not realise that one was still alive at the bottom. I should bang just being able to fire at all. Probably should pause more, to be perfectly honest here. This is a nasty fight, but it's going to decide the war. After this, they're mostly defenceless, and we do have a backup force. Okay, that one's weapons gone, so I don't really care about that. That one's weapons gone, I don't really care about that. Okay, can all you now focus on that one, please? Move forwards. These guys stood up surprisingly well. They've got a lot of uh, rockets just taken, but... Oh, I see a floating bit of what was left of... Wow, you're stash dropping bombs on the thing you're now attached to. That's dedication. We've lost a lot, but we are going to win this now. There's no way they can fight back after this. Come on, to get a direct hit there. Yep, one more. Thank you. There it goes, and that's about to detonate. Wait, is that your large missile or is it regular? I think it's a regular. Oh, yeah, it has to be. The size of it. Just the noise of explosions is going to haunt me tonight. That's it, though, right? I mean, yeah, we have a lot of stuff out of commission, but they have everything. The frenzies have just been fantastic. Just cheap missile spam. Okay, uh, now I'm going to back off. I'm going to lose stuff in the process of this, but I need to move back. Small shipyard, small shipyard. Don't care, that one's... Yeah, that one's still working. That one's close. So we have a Grand Derp and a Frenzy ready. We're about to have another Grand Derp. Then I'm going to start pushing north as well. We have pretty much stopped these guys from being a threat for a while. Okay, Frenzies and the Grand Derp versus the Cultists. We've fought these before. But now we have this... You know what? Actually, that looks quite good from a distance, doesn't it? So its weapons have a much longer accurate range than the missiles do. So the missiles will move forward. This one will move forward after them. Has weapons on both sides, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically equal. That's fine. 
all of you just move forwards. Um, I know it's going to make make you take more damage, but I want to get closer before you fire your secondary. Now. Oh, that was beautiful. Loads of them hit on the front there, which is exactly what I wanted. I wish I could direct exactly where I want them to hit. That's fine. I wonder where the perfect position is then for this craft. So I'm never going to be able to use that top weapon. Really should have focused on this more so I'd have seen one of the shots. It's definitely fired. Okay, there's one of the big shells. So this is going to be deadly if it hits anything where the armor's already been pierced off by the missile or weakened. Yeah, it almost... In fact, it did take out a piece of armor by itself. So it's actually the opposite way around now, think about it. That's going to make holes in the enemy where the missile's blast damage is going to be able to exploit. It's actually a good craft to go uh, with the forensics. Okay, 4k back for me. Let's go back and reload. We've got a frenzy legion here with a doomed. Oh, turtle doves! Yes, okay. This is really mean, but the turtle doves have a chance of dropping something really, 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 really good. It's their shell. It's a type of armor which gives lift. I remember this distinctly because it was bloody fantastic. As someone with a pet tortoise, this is going to be mean. Flying turtles are adorable. Oh, yeah, they can't even fight back. Oh, I literally couldn't remember if they could or couldn't, but, uh... I think it's readily apparent yeah, they can't fight back or are really bad at it. No. Oh. oh, I feel so bad. Please give me the thing I wanted. Oh, thank you. Okay. Shell armor. Uh, so, uh, let's have a quick look see then it's shell armor. So, designer ship, whatever, armor. So, now we have that. So, it's 60 HP, 4 blast resistance, 4 piercing resistance. So it's better than the wooden armor. You have more health and more blast resistance, but then it gives lift 35. I can't remember if that's enough to actually lift something by itself, but obviously it'll make everything lighter. So, yeah, there we go. So that block there is actually now buoyant by itself. Obviously, I want to add this to all of my craft now. Uh, how expensive is it? It's three as opposed to two, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to retrofit everything I have to use shell armor from now on. I'm currently retrofitting almost all my craft. This is the very last one, I think. And yeah, look at that service ceiling increase. That was the biggest weakness of this thing, really. Well, other than the fact that it's just very frail, let's say that. But that's it. Uh, I'd have one little wrong colour patch there. Boop. So yeah, now the service ceiling is 171. This armour is magnificent. So... For some of the craft, I didn't really need to swap it over. Their service ceiling wasn't a problem. But remember, it is just outwardly stronger. It will slow them down slightly, but more blast resistance and more health, it's just better than what we have, really. Thankfully, retrofitting is incredibly quick. Like, where did I get the money from? Did I come from the turtles? Well, I'm not going to be able to resist that. I might know it. No chance. I'll have to attack this empire, actually. It's getting really powerful. The green empire has become the new big threat, so... I'm just going to attack that, I'm going to attack it back, and I know, I know, I know, I haven't built any defences on the buildings. I just don't value buildings very highly. I don't think static defence is as good as just having a larger fleet, but I guess the fleet can't always defend everywhere, and every time a city gets taken, it takes a long time to recover, etc, etc, you lose money. It probably is best to have some buildings, of course, although buildings can't move, that's part of their good side, since they're a lot cheaper, they don't need to have any lift. Obviously. Did I forget to... Okay, I haven't refit one. I'm going to keep it that way. That one's going to be the odd one out for everyone else to laugh at. Yeah, I really need to attack the um, the Green Empire like as soon as possible. Yeah, I actually really like how these look. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'll hit everything but... Oh man, everything's attacking me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move there to take them out. They have two attack fleets at the moment. Both of them are actually heavy on tanks, it seems. Okay, you're just a frenzy, aren't you? Uh, move the frenzy here, get all these together, then this frenzy swarm will attack over there. I need to stop focusing on the frenzy so much. Whoa, that was unfortunate for you. Uh, this fleet may go down. It's actually a very small fleet. It's their other fleet, which is a bother. 
Yeah, and this is showing why static defenses can be great. The actual money here is vastly in favour of them. The value of the fleets, but we are going to be very close. We're not going to win, but we're going to be super close. Unless they're really dumb and try and go over us, which the last one did for some reason. Oh, we have opened up the armor. Yeah, as soon as the armor's opened up, that's when the missiles just devastate. That's why combining them with the cannons, I think, is going to be fantastic. Oh, never mind, we just won. Um, you know what? Next playthrough, because I'm almost sure, well, I'm almost certain I'm going to do another full playthrough with a hard difficulty. I think I'm going to turtle a bit more. I think I might have to, honestly. Okay, in that case, let's oh, let's invade this whole territory. Over here, we're just, we're just about to lose this, because I have no defenses there, but I don't really care right now. The green just needs to be taken. Oh no, you're big as well. Oh, I'm letting superpowers... I need to start finishing them off. I'm letting superpowers just um, take advantage right now. Could risk this attack. No, wait for that to get there. You take out both of those shipyards. You go, go move there. You, I'll deal with you later. We now have aerial torpedoes. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe aerial torpedoes are really, really good, but I can't remember completely. Okay, so the external version. 160... Uh, excuse me. 65 for the huge rocket, only... And then 160 for the aerial torpedo. Oh my god, these things are horrifyingly powerful. Aerial torpedoes move slowly, but devastate anything they hit. They cannot be fired at close range. Okay. So you're probably not going to get many hits with them, but that is a powerful thing. I'm not going to use it on my frenzies because it is too expensive. But I will be using those very soon. I imagine the aerial torpedoes and the missiles we're currently... I think we are now researching. I'll probably combine into our, one of our final creations, actually. Currently doing computers, which I don't even know what that gives us. Computers yet, what that do? Then we can get guidance systems for our guided missiles. Maybe I will swap out some of the... Okay, any any new design I build, I will use the torpedo over the external rockets. Well, they're going to give up, aren't they? Yep. Our force over here is just annihilating everything the Greens have. I'm going after every single shipyard they have, and I'm about to go after their main fleet. Oh, no, no, no. Let's merge together, please. Thank you. Yeah, split our forces a bit more now. That's something else we need to do. Oh, they're taking some land as well. Don't care. Going after the greens right now. I'm being stupid, and I don't care. Oh, that's doomed. I'll miss these rockets. But it's so much fun. Whoa, okay, so you have one very large ship. And then you have all your tanks. Um, do I have any anti-air stuff? It's hard to tell. I'm hoping not, obviously, since, well... We are fucking. Look, look at the new ceiling! It's so much higher than it used to be! Yeah, that Turtle of Armor is a beautiful thing. Glory to the swarms. Okay, now sadly, right now, the light is against us, and it's gonna be difficult to change that too quickly. And I'm actually gonna risk it, because I don't know how strong this thing really is. I'm gonna just send in the swarm attack. Okay, so that thing has rockets, and I was being very silly there. Okay, that thing's down. Remember, we can fire almost directly down with our missiles, so really, sh there's no excuse for us to go that far down constantly. Ow. Oh, except for you, of course, who needs to be close to burn things.
Remember, this is their main fleet. Their main force, I suppose. Okay, it's lost control and burning away. There's no way we're getting out of this. Okay, if you're going to detonate, might as well detonate above the enemy. They have loads of armor. But we have loads of missiles, so, you know, just keep focusing fire on one at a time. Please move out of the way if you can. You can't, that's fine. Trax is dirty. But there we go. That will be an instant win again. This is their last shipyard and their hometown, and we are going to win this one. By the looks of things, at least. Okay. I know it's silly to move you all so close. In fact, yeah, you know what? You two just don't need to. You guys kind of do. Wait for it. Against this one, please. Big boy rockets. Eh, yeah, let's focus on one. You can start chunking down that, please. Thank you. And you can just do that. Fire at will. Change to rapid fire. We're close enough. Oh, maybe not. Wow, that was dreadful. Yeah, never rapid fire rockets. That's what I'm learning. It's really hard to tell what the uh, Grand Derbs are doing, but they're definitely doing well. It's just hard to showcase as much as missiles. Missiles are so much more visually obvious what's going on. They are doing really well, and actually, they're, they're going to survive a lot more than the others. I'm going to do a brutal takeover for that one. Then I'm going to go and replenish my ammo, and then I'm going to just try and knock out the green completely. We have a single frenzy here right now. One over there which needs repairing. Move you back. Then maybe start making some frenzies with the torpedoes. This is all that survived from that last big fight. How did you all miss? You know what? That's just very annoying. You're going down. Ah, two of them have entered an alliance. Still a tiny little empire. This thing took so much damage to take down. And there we go. Then there's this, which is already damaged by the looks of things. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, so this is some of the enemies now attacking me from the west, and that armor is going to be really good versus us, and I don't think we're going to possibly win. So rather than just fleeing straight away, I'm going to be a little bit cheesy here, because I'm terrified by this. I should even know if this works, by the way. I may end up losing these, so... I was like, I'm be cheesy. I don't know if it works. Let's fire all those. Wait for the damage to rack in at least a little bit. Then we flee. Oh, I'm still going to lose a ship anyway. Yeah, that was not worth it at all. Lost at least one ship. No, no, we did survive. Just damaged. Yeah, this... Oh, no, it's not the west. It's one down here. That one's actually becoming a bigger threat. Oh, they controlled this over here as well? No, that's a different one. Uh, Yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Uh, we killed Turtle Doves again and got money. Yep. Gonna build another Grand Derp too. One thing I noticed versus the Turtle Doves this time, Turtle Doves uh, against the Flying Doves this time, is that the damage from this thing was actually really high. It was taken out very, very quickly. 
So I do want another one of these, and this time he is going to use the aerial torpedo. Because I want to see if this tracks or anything. I just want to know how it works more than anything. I only just realised there is a repair all button. Yep. Oh no, you're going to attack while repairing. Well, that is bad. I think we're going to lose this fight, honestly, but I am not going to... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to back down. I only have friends, but I have lots of them. And if we can take out at least one of their vehicles, I'll be happy enough. We do have a second major fleet, which is about to reinforce. That's why I'm feeling quite safe about this. Even if we lose, we're going to do so much damage back to them. It'll be worth it, I think. Maybe. We could just flee. No. Yes, maybe. Oh, Lord. Okay, so what's the scariest thing, then? You have two cannons, a normal gun, so so two rifles, two cannons, a spotter, that's it. You have two heavy cannons, which is honestly terrifying. You all have heavy cannons, and okay, so we do have the advantage of we are currently with the sun on our side. I think I'm honestly going to try and take out a few of them at once. Once again, we have the burst fire on our side, having those little... Single shot weapons so far has been just an absolute blessing. We have some defenses back here, but it's hopefully just going to be a distraction that I can't really do much else other than that. These things are going to be a nightmare to kill. That armor is going to be just deadly for us. You all fire at you. You all fire at you. You all fire at you. Okay, you guys can fire that straight away. You can fire straight away. You guys wait though, because it's moving. In fact, no, do it now, because you might hit both. Move back a bit. Okay. Oh, I kind of merged them into one super ship. For a second there, I was a bit confused. Yeah, when you get there, flip. Don't flip straight away, that's fine. Uh, you, ramming speed down there. Let's try and do some damage before you go down. Yeah, that armor is resisting a lot of punishments. Go after that one, if you miss, the good thing is you'll probably hit something nearby. Oh yeah, them all crowding up like is just dreadful for them. Although we are now against the light, I just thought that's pretty stupid of me. Not really a surprise at this point, but still. Okay, that's the one fire I'm about to explode. You can now also focus on the Clumpo tanks. Nothing can beat sustained missile fire! Come on, I hope I take out this one. We really were just a swarm, weren't we? Just, I didn't realise we were only friends before that fight started. And we'll get revenge. Yeah, that'll be an instant win for us, so... Well done. So this is the Titan Blade. I've noticed that some enemies which are in your territory will actually siphon away money each turn. I didn't realise this. So I am now here to try and clean up the enemy. Uh, the problem is the sun is not in my favour. I need to start actually paying attention to that. You can see that on the map, I believe. And I keep on ignoring it. And it's got me in trouble a few times now, so it's just a one more thing I really need to learn. Uh... What's the range on this thing? Can it even hit us at this range? Oh, yes it can. Okay, in that case... Aim fire. Make sure everyone's aim firing. Uh, I don't want to try and get past, honestly. I'm just going to get close. I know it's stupid. I'm going to get close. Oh, okay. So that drags it in. Then it's going to be these to actually hurt us. Well, the flamer was a terrible thing to bring. You know, it's a plant, so I thought, I know. Burn it. Ooh, tendrils of death. Oh, victory! Okay, so what does this give us? Just money or something more interesting? Oh, a tiny bit of money. Tiny bit of money and the simple fact that uh, we now have that money not being siphoned every turn. Okay, we've got a new Grand Derp 2. This one has the torpedo. I'm actually going to send that against something because I want to see the torp in action. Whoa, boy! Okay, that's actually horrendous. And the sun is against us, and there's no way I can stop that. Uh, aimed. Fire the torp. 
Oh, move, 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 move. Let that torpor uh, go out, and hopefully we can just keep on dodging the missiles and just keep on moving. Whee! Well, they destroyed um, some of the stuff all by itself. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, I knocked out its uh, flag. It has too many things! Now this thing does have a proper um, ah, control set, so it would have been able to move quite frequently. Oh, this is just horrendous. Now let's fly. Well done! You have now been freed into the Legion. We're getting a bit crazy now, and I'm still loving how these things look. I actually put some effort into them. I'm also now realizing what we could do is replace those three um, cannons on the front with three aerial torpedoes, and that would be their final design. So, first of all, everything. Please aim fire. It's nighttime. Thank you. Uh, we're up against this thing, which uh, destroyed, well, almost destroyed one of our ships earlier. It's going to be very difficult, isn't it? I want you just to burn the bottom. Let's see if we can get this thing to fall. And you know what? It's stupid, but I'm tempted just to fire all the long-range weapons straight away. Yeah, you two actually will. The two um, torps. Oh, sorry, no, three torps. I had an extra one there. The Grand Siege! <laughs> Lovely. You move up, you move down. You guys can just stay at the back. Oh, here come the torps. Nothing you're going to notice. Uh, you know what? I think a few more good hits and that's already disabled, so... Big rockets as well. There are the torps. You did a lot of damage. Oh, can't you burn that? No target available. Well, there's that right there. Oh, because it's um, disabled, I think. That's a shame. I wanted to cause more uh, falling. Glorious. I mean, you lot are strong enough. Uh, I think you should go to Duxton. We could try and take this one over here. Uh, could force down into here. That's quite strong. No, I think let's go for their main thing. That way we can try and take out this green one. And also we have another avenue of attack over here. Both of these attacks are coming from them. We have a small fleet which is going to reinforce. Oh, they're going to defend, aren't you? Good chance you're going to die, but... It's going to be fun at least. Oh, that looks so cool! Look at that! I hate the fact that everything looks better than my stuff. Okay, lights on our side. Go away to the back. You're good at long range. You are going to be sacrificial, I'm afraid. Aim fire. The second it stops moving, I would like you to fire the secondary. Ah, do it now. Ow! Stupid me being impatient. Oh, you are way too slow, aren't you? Come on. Yes! Probably shouldn't do this. The whole, in whole inaccuracy thing. At this range, where really rapid fire is best. Can we get our top weapon to fire for once? Yes, we can. Yeah, lots of holes in the armor now. It's using basically our types of weapon against us, which is fine. Missiles doing great, setting fires everywhere, especially where the armor's been chunked off. This thing is very well armored again, it's using the stone armor, which is a stronger than what we've got. But we are still victorious. Okay, fantastic. So, so you did manage to defend against that. Uh, we could launch an attack from that. No. Uh, go and meet them. Why are they so defensive? Oh, 
I guess that gun. I mean, what else is there to say? Missiles. And a little bit of fire. Guess what we have? Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> a sophisticated guided missile, able to reach faraway targets, but not close by ones. Wow. You know what, actually? Um, I'm going to open another design. I'm going to go back to the Grand Derp. And I think what we could do is this, because honestly, that's been useless. So far, that turret has been useless to me. So it could just do that instead. Let's throw on a guided missile. So now it has the guided missile, it has three aerial torpedoes, it has two regular turrets, and it has an external torpedo ready to go as soon as the fight starts. I think, honestly, this may be the final design we have, because we're kind of starting to steamroll heavily now. I mean, it's been going on for a while, but now it's to the point where, yeah, it's looking like the game is over soon. Unless things change. I mean, maybe I'm very, very wrong here. I like that. I am still keeping up the pressure, though, until our new design is ready. I mean, that could have done better. So the annoying thing here is we're against the light, and I don't know the max range of this guided missile. I just want to see it fired. Ooh, it's opening up. Whee! Boop. I mean, that was pretty nice, actually. Okay, here's the uh, torpedoes being fired. I can fire our single-use one as well. Oh, yeah, the damage of these is vastly superior to even the large missiles I've been using. I wonder what the closest range is for these missiles. So it's not firing now, though. It looks like it is loaded. How far away do you need to be? Oh, yeah, the torps are just mean. More difficult to actually hit things, but wow, did I do damage. So the minimum range is 214. That's actually quite bad. Yeah, you need to stay right far at the back. So with our torps, accurate range is still great for us. So yeah, we should just stay at the back now with these. Still curious, though, uh, whether or not those missiles will actually track a target. So I do need to um, test that out eventually. Okay, you guys go there. Really should... No, can you please all just stick together? Yeah, all of you go together. Let's see if we can start taking out some of this. Ooh, that one has attack. Hello! Well, I mean... I wouldn't like to be them. That is why. So yes, the rocket does actively track the enemy. That makes it considerably more dangerous, obviously. Ah, oh, those torps are so nasty. So insanely nasty. Who'd have thought the guided missile is guided? But you get the point. Sometimes names can be deceiving in games. Never trust the name of things. That's what I tend to go about. Oh, no, fire that missile now. It's about to detonate. Oh, dear. Well, that was a waste of some damage. There go the torps again. Hello. Oh yeah, they are so much better. Look at that, just completely chunked out everything. The Grand Derps is scary. Now, is that just the reload on that weapon being just insane? You ever gonna fire again? The ammo's right there. Okay. It can't be the minimum range from there, surely. 
don't think so. Oh, there it is. Okay. I may have just missed it um, going. Love it. Absolutely love it. Once this one's down, I think we'll win this. I mean, it's core has gone. I don't get any closer, because then the enemies are more accurate. I'm already too close, really. I think I might have to turn off the shake effect next time as well. Yeah, the steamrolling is kind of happening. Like I said, it was going to. We are now making the Grand Derps in mass. Uh, need to repair these first. Going to take out these groups with the Grand Derps. And this swarm is just devouring everything like a plague of locusts. Pretty lovely them both hitting the same spot there. Yeah, the Grand Derps, the final design of the Lathraxian Legion. It only makes sense, right? The Mad Scientist is kind of horrifying, isn't it? I think it just ate all of our people. <laughs> well then. Yep. I like these things. <laughs> yeah, uh, the game is pretty much over now. I'm just having fun with the sheer number of explosives. But it is pretty much over. There's nothing else to say, really. We're just doing the same thing over and over. I know I could diversify my stuff right now, but we have one. And I do want to do other playthroughs of this, so don't worry. I will be more varied in the future. I think I'm getting used to certain things with the game, and yeah, it's just going to be a serious laugh. And they've lost instantly. But the guided missiles are fantastic, even when the accuracy is against you, because they guide, I so far haven't seen one miss. Well, explosions. I love these. I just. I love the combo. Just super long range, super accurate missiles. So, this is the mad scientist. That looks really cool, actually. And there's their horrible, creepy minions of death. Whoa! What was. The game just really went weird. That torpedo misfire. What? Whoa, it fires light beams! Okay, I'm just focusing on the main building, apparently. Um, there's so many of us, we can't really move. <laughs> That's very cool. I'm about to lose loads here. These are terrible in this fight. Well, at least in this number. Still, obviously a victory there. Ooh, plus 1,000 research. That's nice. This is the final fight, there really is nothing to say, it's just a few homes versus lots of the Grand Derps. And that's it. I so love these rockets, I was a little bit underwhelmed at first, but the guaranteed accuracy, or at least almost guaranteed accuracy, I saw one kind of miss then, is just beautiful. And that is victory for Lathland. So a quick post-mortem then, what would I have changed? What would I have done differently in general? First of all, Rapid Command needs to be off next time. That will be off. We're going to go on huge map size. We're going to go on either Very Hard or Imperial. We're definitely not going to go with the Explosive bonus again. Is this the most overpowered of them? I don't know. Perhaps it's just because the AI isn't actually that difficult and hard. I don't know, really, of the game. But, um, yeah, definitely go on one of these. Wow, look at just how much stuff's there.
That gets really insane on some of those stats later on. I think I'll mix up the land as well. I'm definitely going to have more monsters because they're just super fun. And that's it. So next time, why more difficult? Uh, we're not going to use the explosive. I've realized now that's very powerful. I'm going to try and be a bit more defensive. I want to have um, fortresses and everything else, which we're probably going to have to. The reason why we could win this time is because we got quite lucky and the fact that explosives are so strong. We had such an early uh, aggression that we were able to fund it all. But we can't afford to lose stuff next time. So with that, I really do hope you've enjoyed because I loved this. This was recorded over three days. I'm still not fully back to my normal recording schedule, but it was insanely fun. I'm going to take a day now to edit it all together. And I really, really do hope you enjoyed because I loved it. Kind of repeating myself now since it is 3 a.m. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that airships conquer the skies as a series you wish to see continued in the future. And... Hope you like the full playthrough style, because I love recording it, Lars. Thank you, and goodbye.